Hi, this is Dark Fox on Two Seven, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today, we're going to be working with creating an enchantment. And before I continue on with this video, I strongly recommend that you go and check out my magic effect and spell creation tutorials. I'll leave links in the description for those. Those pretty much go through how to make your own magic effect, which is going to be linked with enchantments if you're making something very sort of unique. And also, the spell creation can cover sort of auto calculation and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't want to get too dug into repeating myself. So to get started, we'll go under Magic and Enchantment, alternate click and New. And we need to give this an ID, first of all, and a name. I'm just going to create something that's pretty much already in the game. Uh, but it's just going to show you nice and quickly and simple how this works. So the type is going to be Enchantment for us, but if you're making a staff, you're going to want Staff Enchantment. Uh, casting type, Concentration. Constant effect and fire and forget. Constant concentration is usually working uh, with staves, so I don't think it's really used with anything else. Uh, constant effect is obviously used for things like armors, rings, necklaces, and that's what I'm going to be using today. Fire and forget is going to be for weaponry mostly, so when you hit someone with a sword, it's going to deal like 10% damage. That's going to be its enchantment. But we're going to use constant effect for our spell. So delivery, aimed, contact, self, target actor, target location, those I've mentioned before in my previous videos. Uh, but I'll just repeat that you have to make sure that your casting and delivery types match your magic effect that you create or match the magic effect that you want to use. Otherwise it won't appear in this list here, which is what we'll use. Now base enchantment and warm restrictions. Base enchantment is basically the enchantment that you're going to pull off the item that you place this enchantment on. So if we place this onto a ring and have it a ring for fortifying your alchemy, then when we take that to an enchantment bench and we disenchant it, this base enchantment is going to be what we pull from it. So logically it's going to be this enchantment itself and if that's how you want that to work then just leave this as none and this will be the actual enchantment that gets ripped from it. But if you want to specify something different or a slightly uh, powered down version of the one on the item, so say this fortified alchemy by 20 but you only want to pull a enchantment off it that does 10, then you can go and find that in the list or make one that does that and then choose that. But I'm going to leave it as none for this. Worn restrictions is about making sure that your enchantment can't be placed on something completely wrong. So usually it's armor or weapon. So if we go under material, armor and weapon, and this works off form lists. So anything with the keywords under the material armor form list, which is under here. So if we just go material, we got weapons there and armor. So anything in there is going to allow this enchantment to be placed on it. So for me it's going to be armor because it's going to be an enchantment for a ring or for armor. And for weapons it'll obviously be weapon. So if it's something that's like fire and forget deals fire damage you're going to want to choose that. Extend duration on recast isn't used. Auto calculate I did mention before. It's basically deciding how you want to balance it or if you just want the game to do it for you. The game doesn't always do a great job mind you. So sometimes it's just best to set that all up yourself. I'm going to auto calculate. I'm going to alternate click new and I'm going to place a magic effect on here. So Bethesda have got a pretty good naming system for this. Everything usually starts with ENCH, uh, short for enchantment obviously. And we're going to go into here and we're going to find just fortify alchemy. So you could use a number of effects if you want. You could use a number of ones from the game or you could use a number of your own that you create. Uh, but I'm just going to use this one. 20, the magnitude, that will be listed in the description of the magic effect most likely to say if this is going to work off a percentage or an actual sort of value. So 20 on your actual alchemy skill. Uh, I believe that this works off percentage. Duration, there isn't one because it's a constant effect. And if you do create your own magic effect that's going to be constant, then you're going to want to make sure that you sort of untick duration or area and things like that. Things that aren't applicable to it. Conditions, I'm not going to bother with and I'm not going to go through because that's a different tutorial altogether. Click OK. Now if you do add multiple effects, and I've sort of mentioned this before, basically you want to make sure that uh, the one at the top is the one that you want to pull the effects from. So the visuals and the sound effects. And sometimes it doesn't even work that way. It'll sometimes just pick one at random for what the visual and sound effects are. So you might want to make your own unique versions of your magic effects and only have one of them with visuals and sounds set. So you'll see what I mean when you make your own. 
So I'm going to leave it as just alchemy for the moment. And then that should be it for that. Click OK. And then I'm going to go under items and armor. And now I'm going to make my very own ring. So I'm going to go to the bottom here. As you can see, there's loads of enchanted rings here. I'm going to just go with the silver one. And then we'll just call it DF ring. Now the value you can change, uh, stuff like value of course is going to be also judged off uh, the game in terms of what perks you might have or what other abilities you might have that are going to change the value. So you want to make sure you get your balancing right. It's not going to be 30 gold at every vendor and stuff. Different vendors are going to sell things at different prices. So make sure you're careful with your value so you don't put it at 100 and think it's going to stay at that. It'll probably get sold for like 3 or 4 at a vendor. Plus other mods might change the way that works. But the enchanting here, uh, this is very easy enough. Just DF127, find your enchantment and place it on there. And then the other thing to note is I mentioned disenchanting it, what enchantment had to be learned. Now if you've got a unique item here that you're creating and you don't want to be able to pull the enchantment off it, if you want it to be the only item in the world that can have this enchantment, you need to alternate click and add under keywords and you need to type in dis, D-I-S. And you will see magic disallow enchanting. Okay, add that. So that means that this won't show up in the enchantment table list for being able to remove the enchantment. So it's going to remain unique to this item. Now you've got the description here that you can place on your armor piece or whatever it might be, a ring in this case. Uh, if you put a description in here, that's going to overwrite your magic effect description. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. And that is it. We we'll go ahead and confirm that. Now I'm not going to create this and show it you working in game because it, it will work. It's using a, a magic effect one. So just standard. And of course, if you're dealing with weaponry, you're going to have the same sort of uh, setup there. So you'd have to add your keyword in, you can have your description. And the other thing to note for weapons actually is it gets a little different. Obviously, uh, things like rings with constant effects on, they're just, they don't need recharging. Weapons need recharging and you're going to want to set your value here for your enchantment charge. So how much it has until it's worn out. So if we just go back to enchantment here and find our enchantment. As you can see the game has gone and automatically said that the amount would be 458. That's not actually going to be applicable to this because it's a ring. But if this was a weapon it would be using that value uh, each time that you sort of strike an enemy with it. And that will get knocked off there. So it's going to judge how many sort of uses of it you get. So I want to keep those two values in mind. And that is pretty much it. That's how you make an enchantment and apply it to your weapon or your piece of armor and make sure that it's limited on the sort of uh, enchanting system. So I hope you found that video useful. Uh, please check out my antisocial websites and my main website. Hit that like and subscribe button if you found the video useful and you want to see more of my videos. Uh, leave comments below but please don't get sort of commenting asking very specifics about how to make very specific spells and stuff like that. I can't really help. Just uh, sort of use what you learn from my tutorials and you can push on from there. So yep, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.